Alright, and welcome back to DMXZ Plays. Hey, what are you doing? <laughs> Whoops. Anyway, if you haven't caught on already, we're replaying Psychonauts. And I have a guest with me, but we'll get into that after this cutscene. <laughs> Oh no, it's Carrot Top! <laughs> hey kid! You owe me five arrowheads for this week's protection service! Cough it up, my loser, or you'll be coughing up bloody tea. Oh no. Hey, leave him alone. I heard a rumor that you were raised in the circus. Well, let me put this in terms you'll understand. I'm the strong man around here! Really? Because you look more like the cotton candy. <laughs> Benny, put this kid dead on my to-do list! Uh, Benny should just be called Dumbo. Because he can totally fly with those ears. Yeah, we'll settle this on the battlefield! Okay. Anyway, like I was saying... I have a guest speaker here. If you guys watch um, I'm a Gonna Die Games' channel, I have T MJ Tay Mixter with me. And Hello. if it sounds weird, that's because I'm using my laptop's open mic. Because when I was recording this earlier, if I had tried to do Skype, it decided to lag like no other, and then it cut out my audio. So, whatevs. Anyway, I'm. I don't wanna go do basic training. Everybody Watch looks it. Punch it! <laughs> Benny! <laughs> Everybody looks like they're having a psychedelic acid trip, except for her. She looks like she's having a seizure. Why is she having a seizure? <laughs> oh my god. Are you flying? Yo! Kinda looks like it. What are you do Chloe, what are you doing? Hey Chloe, what are you doing? Coach uses this to broadcast his thoughts across the camp. I think I can turn it to reach my people in space. <laughs> Chloe, what are you talking about? Ah, Oleander. I'm in space. Oh my god. Space. Space. Oh, I hit the Oleander. Oleander, what's up? Eh. <laughs> <laughs> this is basic training. You're a punching bag. Okay, in all seriousness. Yeah, it looks like a punching bag. Why do they keep on saying basic braining? I think it's a pun. Oh wow, lag. I've collected- Sunshine's overrated. I've collected everything. I'm ready, sir. Well then. I'm already ranked two. You're late, soldier. Now get in here and give me 20. And this is where they first introduce the doors. The doors are how you get into people's brains. Well, if you've never played the game before, they don't give you that. They just kind of throw you into the game. Going, hey! So, this is it. The mental the world. The mental world. Raz always wears his goggles when it he's looks inside like the mental a world. Office. A mental dentist office. <laughs> the recruiting office, kids. Oh goodness. And I'm here to recruit you for the greatest job in the world. Being a psychonaut. It's about fighting a war for mental freedom. Are you ready to face torture? Insanity. They're like eight! This is your last chance to chicken out. Oh, me, sir. I'd like to chicken out, please. I'm not gonna punch him. Punch him! Are you gonna punch him? No way! Punch him! Nah. I'm gonna look around. Yo, Navy boy! Chicken of the sea! Come on, let's go! 
He's the chicken of the sea. You're tuna. Punch him. Punch the kid. Punch you the kid. Pick on someone your own size. Hey. <laughs> You're not my own so- Well, actually, no. You're smaller than me. Let's go. You're not gonna get another chance like this. I guarantee it. I'm not. How about you, new kid? New kid? What? <laughs> ah, that's what I'm talking about. Let's go, go, go! No. Uh... <laughs> and this is where they start explaining the mechanics of the game. And yes, the kid just exploded. What kind of obstacle course is this? Let's see, it's a that kid so just got killed. A mental obstacle course. Bleeding heart. He's not dead. His astral projection <laughs> just got kicked out of my mind. And I'll kick your astral projection out of the moving right now. <laughs> oh, dialogue. My astral projection is not gonna kick you're not gonna kick my astral projection's ass. I'm gonna kick my astral projection's ass. Haha. <laughs> so, each of the um, people's brains have a theme. As you can tell, Oleander's is war. Um, and I like how the plants are all like um, chains of bullets together. Oh my god, what's this? Relax, that's just a figment of my imagination. <laughs> you can run right through figments. They help you rank up, and when you rank up, you earn new psychic powers. Okay, so Oleander still reminds me of the soldiers from Suck Team up, Fortress. Soldier. Yeah. Come on, get that figment. Be a figgy piggy. Who's coaches, little piggy? Oink, going, going. <laughs> hey. Well, figments are good because they help you level up. A hundred figments equal um, a level up. We all have emotional baggage, kid. Why don't you make yourself you useful? Sort some of it out while you're in here. Think Keep your out. eyes peeled <laughs> for a tag. Give it a hug. I don't know how to hug in this game. So are you just gonna punch it? Yeah, you're just gonna punch it because you can't hug it. <laughs> I hate the bags because they always you can always hear them crying. There it is. Now you will pick up that tag and you will put There are five bag bags per uh, for oh, every world in this game. And I messed up the jump. But each of the bags, once you get their tag, this happens. And for the sake- Aw, oh, he's happy now. I, I always look like- I always- when I always look at it, I always think that the bags are like happy, like they're gonna go die. <laughs> <laughs> well, every- after- for this one only, I'm gonna play through the bags, um, collection, uh, animation. But after this, I'm gonna skip it because I honestly cannot stand the animation. Yeah, and if you guys are paying attention, the figments are so scary. I always like them, they're all glowy. Get on the pole, Raz. We're gonna go pole dancing. Take it Oleander's bored. Oleander's always bored. He yeah, he's just boring. Oh, oh. Fire down below. he's just jealous. Oh god. There's fire. Fire fire, fire in this game is fire, bad. Fire, fire. Whoa. Um, you will take damage from fire. We can't get past this. It's a uncanny asshole. This is <laughs> I call him Carrot Top. <laughs> looks like a test. <laughs> he kind of looks like There's a... probably a secret, more advanced route. What's that supposed to mean? You're you dumb. think you're more advanced than me? Anybody you who Sorry. granted what the first time I played this, I actually you're listened stupid. to Raz. The coach is stupid. The and we'll get into that after this cutscene's over. That thing flying at you, stupid. What's flying at you? <laughs> the ground. Bobby his foot. That's what. Yes. Stupid new kid! Yeah. Oh my god, they're dance. <laughs> if you leave Raz alone for long enough, he actually does the dance. I was saving this plant. Huh. Never seen one so meaty before. I have. It's been appearing in this creepy nightmare I keep having. You're having nightmares? 
Oh, I've been reading about how to fix those. Will you let me see one? Hmm. No. <laughs> Wonderful pickup line, Raz. Okay, so if you listen in the cutscene, you mean? Oh, Oleander, TMI. And these guys are help, but. Wait, what did Oleander say? He said my bowels move quicker than you do. Ew. Okay, so if you listen to Oleander, I mean not Oleander, to Raz, there is this route that actually takes you over that way where those. Um, blimps are, but I'm not going to take that route this time. Now this is the classified route, and I actually found this my first time playing, thinking there was a secret, more advanced route. And, well, this one isn't exactly more advanced, it just m makes sure you know how to platform. And apparently I don't. Granted, my advice to anyone who's, for the first time playing this game, get used to jumping. Try to get as much out of your jump as possible. And with this, it's not terribly bad. Especially since you have a double jump. If you come back with one of your later abilities, no, Levitation, that makes all jumps dead. easier and or harder. <laughs> depending on what you're doing. And depending on how much you fail at well, platforming. Like oh. Anybody who's played this game before knows exactly what I'm talking about when you think this looks hard. <laughs> Oh, there's two sequences that are just like mo you pulling your hair out difficult. Oh, hey. More figments. Wait, but what if you're going? I'm like molasses going up here. I have crutches? Awesome. I want crutches. All right. No, you don't. <laughs> Been there, done that. <laughs> oh, Is we've already gone Joey? rank three. No. Because I'm going to call you Slowy Joey. That's not my name. What was that, slowing? I can't hear ya, you're talking too slow! <laughs> <laughs> oh, the dialogue in this game is so hilarious! You'll have plenty of time to stand around when you're He's dead. such an astral jerk. Yeah, well... Anyway, most people don't realize that you can get all your bags this the first time around, if you know where they are. Hello, bag! Yeah, we sickeningly happy. That's disgusting. Hey, it's disgusting, but I like when you collect all the bags, you not only you gain a uh, rank, but you also gain um, the concept art for a specific level. And concept art's always awesome. Yes. And I might just do a specific video once we get to the end about concept art, or you know, you can just look it up online. Because I bet it's out there. Probably. I'd be surprised if it wasn't. Especially how old this game is. Yeah. Come here. Figments! No! I make trampolines look difficult. <laughs> <laughs> Piggy! Come here. No, we're not. Dark. I'm probably gonna stay on this just because I can't want to get all the figments. Just because getting a lot of figments early. God. Hey! No, thank you. Getting a lot of figments early actually makes your life a little bit easier, especially with getting some abilities early. 